all right what's up how's it going here uh, coming at you again with another art reaction video uh, I know I've been making a lot of promises recently uh, but that I haven't exactly filled up on but uh, I'm I hope to make a uh, book reaction video uh, later in the near future and really get to work on those music reaction videos but uh in channel news I've uh started a limited production run here so I'm going to pull up this thing again just to make sure okay yeah I've started a limited production run uh one batch so one batch of one shirt uh it says spam account on it you can pay me uh $15 for that uh the only only one shirt it's this one I'm wearing right now I uh if uh, you just have to talk to me, I won't even wash it if you uh, don't want me to do that. And uh, but now let's get right into this reaction video. What we have here is Cloud Monet's uh, "The Magpie." This is a uh, an 18 uh, painting that was uh, created over the years 1868 and 1869, and it is uh, oil on canvas. So let's get into this reaction here. First things first, uh, very light white based palette for this painting uh which is nice i very few of my paintings have uh, very few of the paintings that i've reacted to so far have been like that and we get a uh it, it gives off a uh, pretty uh, simultaneously bright because you know that it's uh, a bright powerful color but also dull because there's not sorry it's a bright powerful feeling but there's not much color to it so that also lends it some sort of dullness you see his nice little signature right there and uh it's very uh very good shadowing oh sorry good very uh interesting shadowing here we uh we see the sun coming down from here uh providing giving us space for like some contrast of course between the whites and then also the unshaded the sorry the shaded the in shade area uh here first thing we have is uh this magpie is pretty uh, cute. I'm I'm not too familiar with magpies, although this one doesn't seem to have a beak. So, oh, you know what? Actually, maybe it does right there. But uh, it's very hard to make out the beak. So maybe he was just like going for just a quick uh, impression. Of course, he's known for impressionism. So maybe he's just going for the impression of a magpie. But uh, obvious uh, that that would that would be an interesting move, of course, as the painting is titled "The Magpie." So, if he was just going to put that put such little effort into it, that's certainly a, a bold move. Uh, right here, we see a little barrel stuck in the snow, which is, of course, uh, pretty neat. A uh, little snow-covered barrel gives you a sense of how tall this uh, wicker wall is and the uh, sort of the scale of what we're dealing with here this is obviously quite the uh, blizzard that's passed through this uh, this little compound this little uh, homestead I guess it would probably be back here in the background we have oh, I won't zoom in on that but uh, back here in the background we have what looks to be a, a large uh, farmhouse you see two chimneys coming off of it, potentially two houses actually, maybe forming some sort of little compound, but both appear to be made of brick and of course coated with the snow that the rest of the painting is coated in. And the uh, the strokes there are probably, the rush strokes there of course, uh, are probably some of the most noticeable along with the uh, snow, which I'd li I'll, I'll get into it later. But it's a very nice... Uh, horizontal action that is uh it provides a little bit of a contrast to the very random and k not ca random but chaotic uh nature of the rest of the uh the snow and the uh, uh coming off of the limbs of these trees or sorry resting on the limbs of these trees and uh back here in the background we have what uh, is probably safe to assume is either a sea or a lake uh more likely a lake of course but i i i wouldn't assume that it was a field cuz that that would be a lot of empty field so it, it's i it's probably safe to assume that that's a 
either a large plane or a smaller but a pretty big sizable body of water and uh yeah interesting details here on the uh on the sorry fence of course because to portray the uh holes within the fence of course because the when you take the sticks and you put them together and you weave them together to create something like this there are gaps of course so he he's chosen to paint them on top of the already painted uh uh what is this uh wood as opposed to painting over the background with the wood or say leaving canvas there which actually that wouldn't make much sense but as opposed to painting over it which is interesting and we see these cute I'm s we see these little uh this little light poking through here which is of course interesting although it sort of doesn't seem uh it 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 definitely looks uh, rather realistic. I guess, I suppose you could say a rather probably accurate representation of the uh, per, per, perhaps of the light coming through here. Yet it sort of seems uh, when you when you look closely, it sort of seems contrasted in contrast with the uh, other light sticking through the painting of. Uh, this snow, which this snow is really fantastic here. We see this is, uh, you can even notice this from the zooming up, but of course this is quite the medley of uh, blues, almost some reddish pinks, uh, and of course uh, sort of off-white colors. And it creates a very detailed and interesting texture. You can you can just really gaze at this uh, gaze at this for a while and even some yellows here actually which I didn't notice until I moved along a little bit but yeah some fantastic uh, level of detail here yeah this is uh, I feel like I could just look at this little part of the painting for a while but of course you gotta look at the bigger picture uh, that's a very weak snap but my apologies uh, of course I, I haven't put much focus into the backing woods but the that that's uh not an area of particularly high detail well I'm sorry no, I I don't mean to say it like that but this isn't as uh, of as note as the uh perhaps this would be what we have here is uh just these very thin stick like uh twig like almost bare naked trees sticking up in the background and jutting out into the sky sort of uh, very, very much different from these trees, which m potentially look like they might have some uh, le leaves or needles left on them. Not sure what type of trees these would be, just because, just because of the pink. Yet uh, they have much more snow on them. It appears, unlike these ones. And uh, yeah, this has been a really interesting painting. This has been uh, Cloud Monet's The Magpie from. 1868 to 1869 uh, and was painted with oil on canvas. Thank you very much for watching this video.